Hey guys, so back in Cobalt once again. Unfortunately, the black flies are quite bad, quite bad. It was a bit of an early spring, so uh, all right, we'll get to it, see how it goes. Talk to you a little bit. Well, first piece of silver. Let's see it right in the bottom here. This was a low tone. Not bad though, it's getting there. I just look at this little cute little silver leaf. Oh, the black flies are bad. This is a nice little picker. Small but rich, you can see. That's not bad. I just dug out this big guy. I'm not entirely sure there's silver. I think I see some here. It's hard to say. It looks like a bit of a vein piece. Actually, we may look right down here. Yeah, there's the silver. I can see it. Okay. This could be interesting. It looks like a nice piece. It's a good wash to tell. I don't know, but I'm happy. It looks good. Ha, success. So I just dug up a nice vein piece. You can clearly see it. That's a nice one. That's definitely beauty, for sure. That was kind of mid-high numbers. So that's not bad. That's very nice. Well, I'm not 100% sure, but to me, this looks like uh, one of those... Uh, plugs at the back of a locomotive that attaches cars to it. That's just my guess. That's what it looks like. So that's pretty cool. Cool. So I decided to do a little stuff over at the 104 mil. And this is what's left of it. Not too much really. I'm gonna take a little walk along the road here and see uh, what kind of view we get from up there. Okay, let's go. Oh, here's the view from the top of the mill. It's a nice view too. It's pretty warm and the bugs are bad. And you got here just like a, just a bunch of debris. There <laughs> you go. Well, on the edge of the road, I just found a nice vein piece here. Like this. See, you can see right on the edge here. Yeah, that's almost thing. That's not a bad piece. That's nice. Good find. Yep. There's a nice silver leaf. Weathered. That's a nice one. There's a little cutie. That's not bad. Well, check it out, guys. There's a covered up at it. Really cold breeze coming out of this thing. Oh. Whew. Well, better, better than say. Nice. Very cool. There's a little butterfly moth thing sitting on my little pouch. <laughs> Look at that. That's cute. Well, we got some activity around Silver Sidewalk. Look at all this. Definitely got to detect food at. Mm -hmm. Just dug out this big chunk. I think it's going to be good. Fingers crossed. I think it is. Also, oh, I checked into my room in Hallisbury. It's been a long day. The bugs have been brutaling me. Nice little place they got here. I like it. Gonna make some food and uh, take a break and maybe get out in the field again. I'm exhausted. The sun, the bugs, the sun, the rain. Oh, you know what? It wasn't a bad day, so I uh, kind of want to get a little bit longer. Well, the day slowly come to an end. So I'm taking a final rest. Top of Dye Base Mountain. Maybe if I have time and I'm up for it, I'll hit ragged shoots as well. I like coming up here, it's usually quiet and hopefully windy enough to keep the bugs away. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. I'll let you guys know if I hit the shoots, and if not, then it'll be tomorrow. All right, so here's the current plant of ragged shoots, so you can see for the fence as close as you can get. Hard to picture where the hell this fig was. I mean, we're, we're trying to figure this out. I don't know, maybe it was where the building is, maybe it was before it, maybe it's over there. I honestly don't know. I'll look into it though. Nice to see though, finally. Well, 
There's people in the water. This is warm enough now. Beautiful view. Beautiful. Right there on the other side is Quebec. It's so warm, it's amazing. I can't believe it's May. Beautiful. It was a good day, found some good silver. Now I'm just relaxing till the end of the day and going home, watch TV, have a drink, have some meat, and go to sleep. Let's start the cycle again. Hey guys, so it's day two, and now I'm, uh, I am decided to take a little drive to Silver Center. It'll be a Silver Center day. I know it's really skim pickings usually in Silver Center, but we'll see what happens. The bugs are really bad. I don't know if you can see them, but the shield is so necessary, and I spray myself bug spray all over. I stink, but you know what? Can't do much about it. They're really bad, you know, and the fact that it's warm, like in the low 20s, is annoying, because it would be actually better if it was colder, and then I could wear long clothing and stuff. Anyways, so let's start hiking. I got a bit of a hike and then we'll go from there. There's a neat uh, foundation or chimney here. I don't know what this was for. <laughs> Look at that. Well, I'm at the source. Here's the mine I'm going to reach. I kind of had to go through the bush. Although I'm thinking maybe I should have tried to connect with a road up there. Maybe on the way back. Anyway, let's get to it. So first find, you can see there's some nice silver in this piece. There it is right here. Not bad. So this big boulder here, it's got silver in it. You can see it right here on the surface. It's quite a big guy, so I probably won't be taking it. But it's here. You know what, except for the birds, it is super quiet here. But check this out. I just got this, and I'm looking, what is this thing? And look, there's a little wire here. That's cool. That's these guys. They're circling. I don't know if they're pissed at me or not. I hope not. Oh, I just got this cute little leaf. Perfectly in matrix. There's your little thumbnail right there. This is a nice one. This. See all the silver here. On the back. It's a nice short piece. Well, I'm done with the wet laughter, I guess. And now, I'm just trying my luck with the keeling. The bugs are so bad, they're so impressively hot that I you know, figure it's time to go. Let's see what I can do if I. Well, this first piece. First piece of keeling silver. It's a little nugget, I can feel the weight. It's an ugly and lumpy one, but for sure it's high. I can see from the, from the weight. So we're at the top of the frontier mine now. I figure I'll give it a shot here. I'm really burning up from the heat. So let's see how this works. And uh, I'll be heading back this way. I think that's the road that connects with the Hound Shoot Road and goes up into Cobalt versus going through the long way. Then you go through Silver Center, then you go through near Devil's Rock, so we'll see. I think that's the way I'll try to go, as long as the road's passable. Hopefully. <laughs> well, there's some roads here at the frontier. Yeah. I got this piece out of frontier. It's not half bad. So far, I'm getting a little bits of cobaltite and nickeline. So this is nice, actual silver. That's good. That's good. I don't know where the hell am I on this damn bush road. So hopefully it's the right way to Cobalt. I'm going the right direction, compass-wise, so here's cross because it's been getting rough. Back to it. So like I said, not really have a big clue where the hell am I, but look at this view. That is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Stunning. I wish I could get into the water. Oh my Cooper dip is so hot. Wow, look at that view. That's a nice surprise. Still no clue where the hell I am. I think I'm getting close to 
down to ragged shoots up there. Look at the view. Beautiful view. So I just stopped here. Long as a road cut. This is weird. I wonder almost if this was an old rail line. I don't know. A little too windy. But beautiful view. So I was just driving along the road. There's a fork. One goes to the right, one goes to the left. I kind of feel like the left. And then I see this fenced in there and these massive steel pipes. I wonder if they're for the power plant. I don't think this is from Hound Shoots. I don't think so. I mean from Ragged Shoots. From the plant. Probably not. The... Okay. Back to it. Uh, so it took a while, but finally, just out here, there's the Hound Shoot plant that you saw previously. Me and Sheldon checked it out. So finally connected with it. Almost an hour. That was a long way from uh, Silver Center. The, the other way to go definitely would be much faster. And all the ruts in the way. But you know what? This is a scenic route, so there's a couple nice vistas. I don't know if I'll do it again. If you're an ATV, maybe. Because it'll be easy to go around the ruts and everything, but not in the car. Probably not in the car. Maybe pick up. Maybe pick up be okay. Anyway. So just checking out, never mind. It's, it's on Jeru Lake. Never been here. The view is beautiful though. Look. What a nice view. The wind. So nice. Well, it's day three, so I'm back in Cobalt, staying close to town this time. I don't see the point. There's a, there's a mine dump here I'm going to try exploring around. Actually, that rock over there doesn't look half bad, so we'll see what happens. First little bit of silver for today. That's a start. Well, dug me a hole. There's a good signal down there, finally. It was a hard dig. So I was going to take some work to get to it, but uh, when I get it, I'll show you guys. Well, I'm expanding the hole right in the middle there. That's the rock. It's about a foot and a half down now, so you know, it could be something good because the signal is not bad. It's starting to drizzle a bit, so let me keep going. It's hard to get this thing out. Well, I open up the hole. It's uh, pretty big. Let's see, there's the piece. The thing is huge. It's like a foot. Well. It's gonna be not easy extraction, but I want it. I want to see what that is. It's, I hope it's good. Fingers crossed. Please be good. Hole's expanding now. Oh boy. It's, it's there. I just can't get a grip to pull the thing out. That's how to expand so I can use this guy here. We should buy a crowbar. Mm. Almost there. So finally got the thing out. There it is. It's pretty big. I see arsenide, but I do see silver right here. See? Where is it? There it is, right there. So it's promising, so I probably will take it, even though it's heavy. It's a kind of a hike. But yeah, there we go. And this piece here has a lot of almost sponge silver in the end, right here. This is part of it. You can see a kind of black tarnish in this end. Kind of interesting. I found a little vein piece. Definitely got some silver in it. Small little piece. Not a big chunk. <laughs> so, got myself a little vein piece here. You see the vein right here? It's definitely silver bearing. You can see it right here. So that's not too bad. Bit of a heavy guy. But it's a vein piece. Not bad. Nice little rich metal. Look at that. On the units. Excavate area. We're hitting it. Steven. Doing good, not bad. Yeah, there's a little vein piece in here. See, it goes right through the rock. It's not too bad. Just got a very nice nugget. This is a rich piece. I can see you can see all the silver sticking out of it. That's a nice one. Very nice, heavy. I'm happy with that. <laughs> Beautiful evening. So, this is day four. Pretty much my last day. Tomorrow I'm leaving, so it doesn't really count. So, it's not too bad. I'm probably gonna take it a little easier today. It's been a rough couple weeks, a couple days. That's funny. But uh, yeah, I'm at the Casey mine. 
north on your skirt, so it's a beautiful view from here. They moved a bit of rock, so I'm just gonna try my luck and hopefully we get something nice. At least make it worth the while. Anyway. I just got this right on the surface. It's ugly looking, but uh I definitely saw silver. Uh, where are they? See? Yeah, right here. See it? Yeah, so that's that could be a pretty good piece. Not too bad, heavy. Hope there's more silver in ours tonight. We'll see. I just found this strange looking thing. Gives a good reading. Not super heavy, but I don't know. I'm scratching and I see something that almost looks like silver, but this is a weird looking thing. I don't know. I gotta get a look at that, I think. Well, so I'm back in Cobalt. Got a nice piece right here, nice little vein piece. Casey mine didn't really pan out, so I'm going back to what I know. And you know what? It's not bad so far. Very nice. There's a the thumbnail. So, got an interesting signal of the hole. It's about a foot and a half deep. There's a good signal. Getting there. Getting there. So, hopefully, it's good. It's in a good area, so fingers crossed. Ah, damn it. It's rusty. It's a drill, it's a drill rider pipe. Oh, that sucks. Got a nice little vein piece here. Small, but it's nice. It's pretty rich, you can tell that. It's good. Yeah. Uh, got this very rich little nugget or vein piece, whatever you want to call it. You can see that's super rich. That's not bad. Yeah. So it pulled me off a nice piece here. Look at that. So that's silver, that's that's a nice piece. In the back, you can see it. That's a pretty good one. It was uh, about a foot down, almost. Almost, not bad. So I got this nice piece here. It's got silver and little erythrite crystals. Look at all them little, little tiny crystals everywhere. That is actually something I've been looking for for a while. Can't believe I found some, that's awesome. Nice. Well, it's the final night before I head back. Cobalt. Hollisbury and the whole area so there's the shoreline behind me the sun has set you can see the glow in the distance so that is it it's a good week, couple days I love it I wish I could stay longer but you know what we all got to come back to the real world I loved it it was great I loved that you guys enjoyed hope you enjoyed the videos and you know what talk to you later have a good time and just one more look on the beach after the sunset. There's the sunset back here. There's Quebec over there. And you have a nice view of all the little lights on the shore. Just to give you an idea how it looks. Very pretty. Very nice walk. Anyway, thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Still by the road here, found a Coke bottle. <laughs> That's cool. I oh, just dug out this nice little picker. That's not bad, that's pretty good. Nice. Just got this ugly sucker out. Heavy. Not bad, I don't see much silver, but I think the numbers say I should take it at the very least. I think that could be interesting. Oh, this is a nice piece. Yeah, that's good. Well, so here's that cut uh, that they cemented in. It used to be somewhere there. I guess they moved everything around and filled the whole area. So, you know, it's promising to give it a look. My last hour and I'm heading out. Hope we get something. It would be nice. I just got this nice one out of the hole. Look at that. This is a nice piece. Nice little picker right here. Pretty much on the surface. That's not bad. There's another nice piece of silver right here. Came out of this hole. Good signal. Good, good, good. This is a nice looking piece. It almost looks some old stuff from near the top of the vein that might be weathered. It's like a leaf that's covered. That's nice though. 
Yeah, it's got a nice nugget. It's a heavy one. That's a nice, that's a good solid nice piece. That was pretty good. Good, that's nice. Pretty much almost done. So I don't know what else I'm gonna find, but it's good. Good ending. Look at these nice butterflies flying. Beautiful monarchs. <laughs> well guys, thanks for joining me and yeah, that's it. Bye bye to Cobalt. Next will probably be some videos of uh, stuff that I cut and maybe cleaned. Talk to you later. So got me something. I want a match back here. Looks like a silver leaf for here. Yeah. Look at that. Silver leaf. Nice. <laughs> Oh, I think I found something. So today I'll be spending the night over here by the lake. This will be base camp. Very nice. So it was good, so I can't complain. It's nice and warm. So I have a big hole down there. I got this piece. And I can see the silver in it. It's a mix of arsenide. And the prettiest, but I'm, I can tell from the weight and numbers that this is going to be good if I cut it and clean it. So, look at that. Well, there you see it, a shot from the car, but you can see that's where the La Rose Bridge was. So uh, they're building it and rebuilding it. I guess it was in rough shape. So finally, after many years, I managed to pull over and read the sign about the Tomogamy Fire. It's in 1999. So, I'll take a picture for you guys so you guys can give it a read. Finally, I managed to pull over. <laughs>